Hi there, welcome to Midweek Update with Jenny Lynn Conley. I'm so glad you are here. I'm so glad we made it. You guys, it's finally April. March was the longest year of my life. I don't know about you. I think it's just the broken routine, being cooped up, cabin fever. I don't know, but it's it's just been, yeah. It's been one for the books, hasn't it? But we made it, that's what counts. I hope everybody is doing great out there. Uh, I've got a couple of things lined up for us today. I've got uh, a clip of a Marco Polo conversation with my cousin Barbie. What, honey? Come here. Uh, I'm, Who wants the Pop-Tarts? Okay, I'll warm up your Pop-Tart in a minute. Why? I'll be right there. Why? Right there. I'm recording my show. Oh, cool. Thanks. So, a couple things coming up. Conversation with my cousin Barbie. Also, my Zoom call with Faye DeMeyer Onspa. I hope I'm saying her new, she has a new last name. I hope, I hope I'm saying it right. She is my counselor turned friend and writing partner and all kinds of stuff. Uh, she's just such a, a great friend and encourager in my life. But when you become friends with the person who was your counselor, they know everything, they know too much. So you're basically stuck with them as a friend because they like know where the bodies are buried and stuff, right? No, no, she wouldn't even hold that stuff over me. She's just a wonderful human being. She's a great minister um, and a newlywed. A newlywed so uh, she's quarantined with her new husband and she's not upset about it you know what I'm saying y'all uh, also I want to talk a little bit later about Tiger King right what everyone is talking about I'll tell you what between COVID-19 and Tiger King the memes right now are so funny I, it just keeps us all going, doesn't it? While we're all cooped up. Um, but it does beg the question, is Carol Baskins responsible for COVID-19? I don't know. I don't know. Let's get into it. What? Dude, he saw a tiger and now he understands. What don't you get? Tigers, understanding. Who would have thought during these divisive times that the thing that would bring us all together is the Tiger King? It is the weirdest thing I have ever watched. And that's really saying something. Because we're watching a lot of TV right now, aren't we guys? Crazy. Carol Baskins. So what are some things that we can do during this time to maintain mental health? And Good. I mean, we, we were joking about the, the makeup thing earlier, but not a joke though. It, it's really, when I put my face on, it really changes everything that I, we do. Um, it does. It's interesting. I'm, I'm less likely to fall asleep on the couch. Yeah. You know what I mean? Remember, like, yeah. Do you remember when David had um, disobeyed the Lord, um, the, his child died because of his disobedience, mm -hmm. and he was um, in sackcloth and ashes? The, one mm -hmm. of the things that he was told, get up, wash your face. And that's equivalent to get up, put your makeup, get up and show up. The second part of that is this contrition, if you will, uh, almost humility of going, okay, God, you're in control and I'm not. That those, Two things I know, there's a God and I'm not it, right? Right. So clarity comes into play during this time. So right. God's in control and we're not. And so then you start in this humble place, I believe, of almost like a reset. So what was important to me before might have been um, going and meeting with my friends, having coffee, um, doing my nails, doing my hair, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. What's important to me now is, right, are people okay? Yeah. Am I making sure I'm not being um, a problem to somebody else? 
is um, <laughs> in my house. So, Serious in my house. <laughs> yeah, in my house as a newlywed. Mm. But but just like you Did know, am I bragging again? And am I still staying safe, right, with other right. people? So right. um not this week, but not this last week. Was it no, the week before I had swollen glands the week before last. I and so I I'm think, I am on medicine right now. Uh okay. I well, I had pneumonia. I, I just got over pneumonia again. Again, and um, I'd be looking for mold around the house because you've had it a lot. Oh. Yeah, I'd be looking so for I, mold. I've had pneumonia four times in the last six years. I know, and so I'm just very susceptible to it, mm -hmm. and I'm also immune compromised because my autoimmune disease. So, mm -hmm. um, I'm sorry to talk about all my medical. No, problems. no, that's okay. <laughs> but but it it plays on your <laughs> mental health, doesn't role. it? It really does. Um, so I'm on. I'm on prednisone, which makes a lot of people like Hulk out and yes. it doesn't, it doesn't really do that for me, but it makes me super emotional. Yes. And hungry. Does it oh. make you hungry? I, I couldn't tell if that was just normal quarantine boredom or <laughs> if, um, yeah, I'm not putting on pounds. Uh, I'm putting, what do you call it when it's not pounds, but it's like 10 at a time. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, uh, a friend of mine was calling it the COVID. Have you gained your COVID nineteen yet? <laughs> and <laughs> which cracked me up. But so Faye and I are going to continue our conversation about mental health during this stuff, um, during this weird season, and just want to find out what you guys are doing to help uh, keep your thoughts productive and in the right place when it's so easy to to go negative right now. Well, before I sign off today, I just want to show this little clip of me and my son Levi, who is on camera, and then you can hear my son Wyatt's voice off camera. Sad, sad, and hungry at the same time. What do you think we should do? Have a snack. But we're going to have dinner. Well, then have chill time. Okay, what is chill time? It is, we watch a show while we lay on the couch. <laughs> Wait, can, can we both agree on the show? Because I don't want to watch G.I. Joe. Uh, here we go. And don't say you're playing go. this game and I'm going to play this game. Because I don't want to watch G.I. Joe. Okay, so we're going to go watch G.I. Joe. Oh, yeah. Okay. Maybe he can play the game while you watch something. Maybe. Isn't that so funny? I think that really just puts this whole quarantine experience into three words, sad, angry, and hungry. I really hope that you guys all have a great week making the best of this situation and hope that this brightened your day a little bit, or at least broke it up. It gave you something to do for a few minutes. All right. All my love. God bless you guys. See you next week right here. Midweek update.